Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. My name is Matt Hester, and I want to take another quick look at a great enhancement inside of Windows Server 2008 R2 to help you out. Specifically in this screencast, we're going to take a look at the best practices analyzers. Now, this is not certainly something not new to Windows Server environments. We've had the best practice analyzers around for years, um, and they've been available for free downloads, and the tool's always been designed to help you find errors, give you recommendations on warnings and just tell you the general health. I mean if you've ever inherited a server you always want, kind of want to know well, what do they do to set this up? How do I configure it? How do I work with it? Well the best practices analyzers are designed not only help you with those inherited servers but also if you've configured and run your environment how we can actually improve and work with it. The difference that we have with 2008 R2 now is that the best practices analyzers are actually built in to the operating system so we don't have to download them. They're already there. They're already usable for us to take advantage of right out of the box with R2. Now inside of the release of R2 we only support five roles by default. Active Directory, Active Directory Certificate Services, DNS, Remote Desktop Services which is formerly Terminal Services uh, if you're not familiar with that term, and Web Services or IIS. So with that let me actually show you how to work with the Best Practices Analyzers tool and where you can find them. So I'm going to switch over to Server Manager Inside a server manager, you're going to find whenever you go into your role and you'll have the role summary of the events and the information, you'll always will have the best practice analyzers tool here as well. This tool was built in. Now, once again, you'll only see it for one of those five rules that I mentioned earlier. And to create a scan, you simply just go, hey, let's scan this role, and it's going to run and, and check across the, the, the several rules that are there. Now, how are the rules are created? The rules come from our own Microsoft IT. So, in other words, we have our own configurations, our recommendations, but more importantly, the rules come from just standard best practices but also best practices from customers like yourselves. So some of you may have been in our early adopter program and noticed that we need improvements for these tools. Well guess what? Some of your advice may have actually bubbled up and worked inside of this tool. So while this is scanning let me just show you uh, where we might have the DNS tools um, and I have some errors here in DNS that's fine. That's actually not a bad thing but notice I get all that information for best practice in the scanners that are here. If I go to web server, I'll have some different scans that are here. So I have this ability and I scan it looks like I don't have any worries with web services. That's a good thing. But let me head back to Active Directory and notice it just completed the scan and notice that I have an error in several warnings. Now whenever I look at these messages, the great thing about the best practices analyzer is simply this. If I open this up, notice it gives me the issue gives me the impact, tells me what the potential problems might be. This might be symptoms that your users are seeing or you're seeing when you're working with the server. More importantly, when we see these warnings or these impacts, it's going to give us resolutions. Now when you see errors that come from the best practice analyzer, these are normally you need to take action right away because something's not working right and, and you need to fix it. But you're going to see other ones uh, like this, a warning. All domains should have at least two functioning domain controllers. Well, one of the things about the best practices analyzers that's great, this is advice that you either take or don't take. It's up to you. And when I think about this, there might be several of you out there that only run a single domain server environment. You only have one DC that supports your entire environment, which is perfectly fine. This advice, you can safely ignore. But once again, it's giving you a best practice to, hey, based on all the customers that have run this and run Active Directory, here's a recommendation we have for you. You always want to take some of these recommendations with a bit of grain of salt. It's like, yeah, it'd be nice to have, but maybe we can't afford that extra server or maybe we can't install that other role. The point is, you get to make that choice for you. The best practice analyzers are fantastic tools that we now can take advantage of. You can also use PowerShell to use these tools as well. Now to use PowerShell, we actually have to do two things. Now I've already used my PowerShell session. The first thing is you have to import the server manager modules as well as the best practice analyzer modules. Let me just show you what those commands look like real uh, right quick. And you can tell I've been doing this a little bit. So import module best practices, server manager, and um, best practices. These are the two modules you need to actually be able to work with the Git uh, BPA model objects. And then it's just a matter of working with the different tools that we have built to us. One of the things that I command, or one of the commands I can run, is hey, show me all the Windows features that I have the ability to run the best practice analyzers on. And notice it shows me all these things. Now the nice thing about this, if you want to work with any best practice analyzer, or actually run it from the PowerShell command line, which you can now do uh, on server course, you can actually run best practice analyzers against your server core workloads, 
because Server Core in 2008 R2 actually does support uh, a portion of the .NET framework. Now the great thing about this is that I can actually run all of my modules at the same time with another pipe symbol. So I can simply say pipe invoke dash BPA model and what it's going to do now is run the best practice analyzer for all of my roles on my servers and you can actually work with displaying your and working with the views but what I wanted to show you is a quick tour of the built-in best practice analyzers inside of Windows Server 2008 R2. With that said, thank you.